you have daily data like the one that is shown on the left and you want to calculate quarterly averages or totals like the way it is shown on the right. This is an email question from Jim from Canada and let's see how you can use Excel to solve this quickly. To start off, just set your data so that you have your date column and the values columns. There can be multiple columns as well, it doesn't matter, but make sure that the date is actually a date. Then insert a pivot table. For now, I'm gonna just insert this pivot table right here. And within this pivot table, we will put the sales date into the row label area. Because it is a date, Excel will automatically group this and if the date spans multiple years, then it will also add quarter and year component. But in this situation, all the dates are in 2021. So we only see monthly level grouping. We don't want monthly grouping. We want the quarterly grouping. So right click on this date and then select the group option. And from here also add the quarter option. So now we would be able to see the level at quarter as well. Click OK and then you will get a view like this. We'll take the sales price and put it into the values so that we can see the sum of sales price. The default in this case would be sum, but because we want the total as average, I can right click and then say summarize value by average. Next up, we just want to see this at quarter level, not at month or day level. So from the pivot table field list area, I'm just gonna drop my month and the sales date. And we will have a quarterly level average sales price from the daily data. All done with a few clicks. You can adjust the formatting of this very quickly by right clicking on the number and going to the number format. And from here, set it to currency, one decimal point and boom. We could do this for average sales price or even the total sales price. So we can just put another value and then it will show you what is the quarterly totals. Let's take it to the next level. In this current situation, quarter one is Jan, Feb, March. But what if your quarters begin on April or July or October? To do this, you need two tables. One is your original data table, but another table is a calendar table. In this calendar table, you must have all the dates and an associated quarter. You could also have additional columns here. So for example, using this calendar table as a mapping table, I can tell that 1 Jan 2021 is actually belonging to the FY 2020 Q4. Given these two tables, we can now make a pivot table that combines the data from these two in one view. First up, we need to link up this date column here with this date column there. To do this, go to the data ribbon and click on relationships. From here, add a new relationship. The table on this side here is my data two table and sales date. I want this to be linked with calendar table date column. And when you click OK, now internally these two tables are connected on the date column with a relationship. At this point we'll select a blank cell, go to insert and then say pivot table from data model. So this option, we will just insert the pivot here. You can see that both my calendar and data two tables are available for me to generate the pivot. We could also see our original data table, but we don't need this for this pivot. So from calendar, we will put quarter here and from date, we will just add sales price and we will get the sum as the default, but I can change this to average. And again, we will get the average sales price for each quarter within each financial year. I hope you enjoyed these particular tricks on quarterly totals from daily data. If you would like to learn a little bit more about pivot tables, I highly recommend checking out my advanced pivot table tricks playlist that is shown on the screen. Thank you so much. I'll catch you there. Bye bye.